I always hear people say, well, my buddy starts to go down. I'm just going to grab him and pull him out. You're not going to pull him out. 165-pound man. He gets three feet deep. He now weighs 300 pounds. You're not going to yank him out of there. It's not going to happen. Once he gets five feet, he's up to 600 pounds. He goes under 900 pounds. Oh, I'm going to throw a rope and yank him out of there. You're going to yank him in half is what you're going to do. So that just shows you how much pressure is on an individual when they get engulfed. And uh, there's been incidences where the guy was above the grain level, he was totally engulfed, but that pressure just kept squeezing and squeezing. And it was like a bro constrictor snake and he ended up suffocating, even though his head was above the grain. That's, that's how much pressure is on you. And then we can start our, our actual rescue. So as we place these boards, the first board is gonna go right behind the, the victim and it's gonna go right up on their back, and you're gonna work that board down as far as you can. And then we're gonna start building the rest of those boards around him. And once again, the less you move around, uh, the less that compacts that gentleman or that person in there and you know every time you move grain's going to move in and it, it can start moving into his airway or whatever so we try to do it really careful and we start building that copper dam we work each board and we overlap it so we start from the back we start overlapping it leave about four inches six inches around that person as you overlap it uh, i think there's usually 10 to 12 boards that you're, you're working with. You want to leave two or three back. So build that dam and have two or three for spares because you're going to have leaks and you're going to want to work those in when we start to leak. So we build that coffer dam around that person and they're going to get claustrophobic. They're going to get a little nervous. Uh, if they're awake and their arms can move, have them help you. Have them help scoop grain out. Have them help run the back that's going to take their mind off of being stuck in there. Well, when they dropped me down into the, into the uh, pit, the pressure was, as soon as you open the gate, the pressure was so strong on my legs, it, was feeling, it felt like uh, somebody was pinching me. I could feel how every time I'd move, it got worse. It, hurt, it got more, more pressure built up every time I tried to move my legs, so almost like I was going deeper every time I try to move and then as they were sticking the boards around me uh, and starting to back out I could feel pressure releasing but also the boards getting closer to my body and if you're claustrophobic it would actually I mean that would be a tough thing for a person who's claustrophobic to experience they backed out to a certain point where it got almost down below my between my knees and upper thigh I was able to move my legs enough then to push my arms up, uh, up onto the apparatus and pull myself out with the help of the firemen.